Most people in America have rights to practice what they preach. But if you're practicing the practice of abusing someone with a litany of women within 15 minutes of each other, constantly trying to gift something to someone without their consent, what does that mean? Is that not a form of abuse? Do you have no ability to read? Are you unwilling to read a man's sign that says, this is what I'm looking for at this time? Are you so ill-willed in your attitudes about life that you think you're going to be lured over someone in some way? The liars in America like to play, and this is their play. Let's just harass him and harangue him to death. Let's pretend that he's the one to play with. Let's just piss all over his life. Let's just do this for our will and not his. Jesus' will does not say to you, walk up to man and pretend you know him. Walk up to someone and pretend you have got something for him. Jesus was someone who was teaching Bill Hybels to get up, walk across the room, introduce yourself, and learn something about someone. The liar in you is, I'm helping. You're not helping. You're trying to be in power over someone because a group of people decided that you'd shower someone with love. Really? Did you shower someone with love when you read what they were looking for? Or were you just trying to practice your form of interrogation, your form of psychological warfare, your form of abuse on someone? I'd like you to look at yourself in the mirror and tell me, are you abusing yourself? Are you abusing someone else? And are you abusing a stranger today? The lie you've told yourself is that you're in charge of someone. When you try to ply your trade at someone's life and then walk away in two seconds, it proves you didn't have any real interest in the first place. You've lied in front of the Lord's house. So the next time you look at me on the sidewalk, I want you to put Jesus Christ, stand, the Holy Mother and Father, standing behind me and ask yourself, what will they say?